Shemot, Exodus 10. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened at his heart, and at the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him, and that you may tell in the ears of your son and of your son's son at what things I have wrought in Mitzrayim and my signs which I have done among them that ye may know how that I am Yahuwah and Moshe and Aharan came in unto Pharaoh and said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah Elohai of the Ivrim, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go that they may serve me. Else if you refuse to let at my people go, behold, tomorrow will I bring the locusts into your coast. They shall cover at the face of the earth that one cannot be able to see at the earth, and they shall eat at the remnant of that which is escaped, which remains unto you from the hail, and shall eat every tree which grows for you out of the field, and they shall fill your houses, and the houses of all your servants, and the houses of all the Mitzrayim, which neither your fathers nor your fathers' fathers have seen since the day that they were upon the earth unto this day. And he turned himself and went out from Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's servants said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto us let at the men go, that they may serve at Yahuwah Eloheim. Eloheim. Rather, Eloheim. Know you not yet that Mitzrayim is destroyed? And Eth Moshe and Eth Aharan, Aharan were brought again unto Pharaoh, and he said unto them, Go, serve at Yahuwah, Elohechem. But who are they that shall go? And Moshe said, We will go with our young and with our old, with our sons and with our daughters, with our flocks and with our herds will we go, for we must hold a feast unto Yahuwah. And he said unto them, let Yahuwah be so with you, as I will let you go, and at your little ones. Look to it, for evil is before you. Not so. Go now, ye that are men, and serve at Yahuwah, for that ye did desire. And they were driven out from Pharaoh's presence. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Stretch out your hand over the land of Mitzrayim for the locusts, that they may come up upon the land of Mitzrayim and eat at every herb of the land, at even all that the hail has left. And Moshe stretched forth at his rod over the land of Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah brought an east wind upon the land, all that day and all that night. And when it was morning, the east wind brought the locusts. And the locusts went up over all the land of Mitzrayim and rested in all the coasts of Mitzrayim. Very grievous were they. Before them there was no such locusts as they. Neither after them shall be such. For they covered at the face of the whole earth, so that the land was darkened. They did eat at every herb of the land, and at all the fruit of the trees which the hail had left. And there remained not any green thing in the trees or in the herbs of the field. 
through all the land of Mitzrayim. Then Pharaoh called for Moshe and Aharon in haste, and he said, I have sinned against Yahuwah, Eloheikem, and against you. Now therefore forgive, I pray you, my sin only this once, and entreat Yahuwah, Eloheikem, that he may take away from me at this death only. And he went out from Pharaoh and entreated Yahuwah. And Yahuwah turned a mighty strong wind west, rather strong west wind, which took away at the locusts and cast them into the Red Sea. There remained not one locust in all the coasts of Mitzrayim. But Yahuwah hardened at Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let at the children of Yasharel go. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the heavens, that there may be darkness over the land of Mitzrayim, even darkness which may be felt. And Moshe stretched forth at his hand toward the heavens, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Mitzrayim three days They saw not at one another, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Yasharel had light in their dwellings. And Pharaoh called unto Moshe and said, Go ye, serve at Yahuwah, only let your flocks and your herds be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. And Moshe said, You must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto Yahuwah, Eloheinu. Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not be a hoof be left. Rather, there shall not a hoof be left behind. For thereof must we take to serve at Yahuwah, Eloheinu. And we know not with what we must serve at Yahuwah until we come thither. But Yahuwah hardened at Pharaoh's heart, and he would not let them go. And Pharaoh said unto him, Get you from me, take heed to yourself. See my face no more, for in that day you see my face. You shall die. And Moshe said, You have spoken well. I will see your face again. No more.